First up, we begin with that wild weather from street flooding to a lightning sparked fire. Homeowners are cleaning up damage from another round of storms. Here to News Channel 13's Greg Miller tracked the storms and the aftermath. And Greg, it seems no one was spared from this storm. Yeah, James and Heather, really nobody at all was spared from these storms. Like you said, we are obviously, it's a lot quieter here, a lot calmer in the weathered area at least. But take a look behind me, you can hear and see Fountain Creek is still rushing with all the water that's come down in the last several days. Homeowners again tonight counting themselves lucky from some who saw water creeping up closer to their homes at one point this afternoon. And even one man who had lightning and a bolt of lightning strike the back of his house. It looked like you were looking into a fire, but white. A bright flash, which was loud. So have you ever heard small artillery fire? Okay, and you get that loud rumbling and it kind of freaks you out for a second. Multiply that by five. But the only victim, a chainsaw and a few shingles. Right up there. Yeah. After lightning struck through Bob Rogers' back door shed. I was sitting in my living room watching TV, channel 13 weather, bang, and uh, saw a flash. But he looked around his house and didn't see anything wrong, at least at first. We walked back to the back here and opened the store shed and uh, saw a fire. From fires to floods, neighborhoods in Pueblo filled with water immediately. And in security wide field and fountain, a car stuck in water. It, it builds up pretty fast and, and it takes, whenever it's in there, you know, it washes it down the street. A family nearby says they've seen it before. I wish they would, uh, like, work out the drainage dishes a little bit better. The damage this round is minor, with hail, some singed shingles, and a burned chainsaw left behind. The insurance will take care of it. Yeah. I see you're pretty lucky. Quite lucky, I think. And yeah, now the good news again, uh, as we continue to watch, the weather is calming down, at least for now. We should tell you also in Widefield, while the water did come up very quickly, it also drained within a couple of hours at the most in some cases. So those folks are obviously a lot drier tonight, too. And now we're just watching as these water levels along the area creeks continue to get higher and higher with all the rain we've gotten and more to come. Reporting live tonight in Colorado Springs, Greg Miller, KRDO News Channel 13. Wow, burned chainsaw. That's a new one. Thanks, Greg.